Hey, this is Miss Hodges, and this is the first in the series of matter videos. First, matter is anything that takes up space and has mass. Here you have a bowl of water and a cup with a paper towel in it. You would think that as soon as you put the paper towel into the water, it would get wet. Still dry. That's because air was also in the cup, and air is matter too. It has mass and takes up space. Here are your notes for the matter unit. First, this is all about chemistry. Chemistry is the study of nature of matter, its compositions, and the changes it undergoes. Chemists are the scientists who study the nature of matter. So during this unit, you will be chemist. Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. It is not any form of energy, light, sound, heat, or emotions, thoughts, ideas, or anything that does not have mass or take up space. So things like love and happiness, they matter, but they aren't matter. The elements. There are 120 known elements in the world that combine to make up all living and non-living things. If it's made of matter, it has elements in it. The Earth's crust is primarily made of the element oxygen. It also has silicon, aluminum, iron, and about 12% of the rest of the things in the Earth's crust are other elements. Those are all non-living things. You also find elements in living things, such as humans. Humans are more than 61% oxygen, 23% carbon, 10% hydrogen, and 3% nitrogen. Then about 3% are other elements. But since we are matter, we are made of elements. Elements are the pure substances that cannot be broken down into any other substances by chemical or physical means. They are found in the periodic table, and the smallest particles of elements are atoms. So you can keep breaking down elements into teeny, uh, teeny, more than microscopic, you can't even see them with a microscope, atoms. All atoms of the same element have the same properties. Here's an example of the periodic table. Metals, metalloids, and other elements are all found on this table. 